so hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing one of the cooking videos that i used to do at the beginning of my channel so those of you who have been here since i started this channel know that i started off by doing some uh, cooking videos so today's i'm going to bring one of them back so today i'm going to be showing you how to make cool so it's a tamil um dish so uh you might be wondering what does what it, what cool is so it's basically a seafood soup so it's basically a soup that contains uh, all the seafood so uh, prawns uh, squid uh, calamari er everything basically but obviously i'm going to show you guys how it's done and the ingredients that you need and you know i'm going to go through uh step by step on how to make this so i'm just going to go pop down to the shop here um just to get it's a tamil shop so i'm just going to go there to get some seafood and show you guys how it's done uh Obviously this dish is very healthy and it's very tasty as well. It's one of my favourite um, uh, yeah, Tamil dish. So yeah, um, let's get into the video guys. And obviously I, I'm, uh, I'll try and make this video as short as I can because it's quite a... It's not a long process but you know I'll just try and make it as short as possible so that it's easier for you guys to watch and make it as well. So yeah, uh, let me just go to a shop and get all the all the things i need to make this dish and uh yeah i'll let you guys know what i've bought and how how this is done so yeah see you guys in the next shot <laughs> So guys, welcome back. Uh, so uh, now we've got a big pan. We're back at home after the shopping. So I'll show you guys everything in a bit, what we've bought and everything. But for now, all you have to do is boil some water in this big pan here. So the amount, you know, is just uh, that that much. So just put that much water, uh, let it boil for about five, seven minutes. And then what we're going to do next is um, we can put, I mean, what, what you have to put is put some rice in it, but you can also put some, um, what's it called, uh, some nuts or whatever. But we're not going to put that today. Uh, we're just going to put some rice. So yeah, see you guys in the next shot about with all the ingredients and what you need to buy. So yeah. So now we're just going to put the rice in there. Uh, so I'll show you the guys the ingredients in the next bit, but we're just going to put rice in there now. That's the rice. So just get like a, a little bit of, so as you can tell. So yeah, that's just leave it in there. You can stir it a little bit if you want, and yeah, I'll show you guys what the ingredients in the next shot. So these are some of the ingredients which we need to get. So I'll go through them one by one. So first we've got some fish here and then just any fish. And we've got some seedless tamarind thing. That's how it looks like. If you go to any Asian shop, you can get all these at Asian shop by the way. So you got this, you got Odeal flour. So make sure you get Odeal because um, this cool is called Odeal um, cool. So you can't just get any flour, you have to get Odeal flour. It's very important to get this. And this is another type of fish. Uh, actually, this is uh, no, this is not squid. This is just fish, and uh, and this is fish as well. So just like two different types of fish. And then we need to get this. I don't know what this is called, but uh, if you go to any, any Asian shop and you see this, just buy it. Uh, you don't need all of this, I guess. But you know, my mom bought all this, so yeah, just buy this as well. Garlic. You don't need all this, but you know, just make sure you get some garlic as well. Spinach. Uh, get some spinach as well. You can, we just got this from uh, Asian shop and uh, we've got this thing here I don't know why it's called but in Tamil it's called uh, Maraveli Kalanga so make sure you get this uh, you can get at any Asian shop again so pop into an Asian shop if you see this just buy it and obviously aubergines you need this just one is enough and yeah um, and we're gonna also put prawns and squid and everything but I'll show you guys in the next shop 
because my mom's just washing and stuff and obviously as you can see she took the ordeal flour because uh, she's gonna put in water and you know let it uh, dry and stuff so yeah these are some of the ingredients I'll show you guys more ingredients in the next shot so this is the ordeal flour which you saw in the packaging earlier uh, what she done is she put it in water and you stir it for about a uh, good three four minutes and then you have to filter it out about uh, two three times um, but this is only used at the end uh, after everything's you know boiled and everything all the fish and prawns everything's boiled uh, you just put it at the end and this as well you only put it at the end once everything's done uh, not uh, completely at the end but you know somewhere when it's turned traps and done so yeah make sure you fil filter this out two three times and yeah um, just keep stirring it and filtering it two three times and that should be enough so guys we just got a bit of more seafood here I showed you this earlier so now we've got a bit more prawns and some squid here so we're just gonna add this as well so we've got more there that's the ordeal flour fish prawns calamari and some other fish there so yeah we're just gonna add this in a bit my mom just like you know clean this out clean everything out so yeah that's why i'm showing you these two now but yeah uh let's see what's happening what happens next mm, and yeah see you guys in the next shot um yeah so yeah so i mean um these are the ingredients guys uh i don't think there's anything else but yeah see you guys in the next shot so now we're just putting in the beans uh, she just washed it and now we're putting in the beans so we put the rice before and now we're putting in the beans so yeah um, and then you just have to take this spoon here and just stir it but you know be careful when you stir it because it's very hot so yeah guys uh, beans and rice in there so far but yeah let's see what happens next so this is how you filter out the ordeal ma so yeah you're left with the ordeal ma then you have to put some more water again and uh, stir it again and then filter it out again you know just to make sure it's clean because you wouldn't know how they get it so now she's gonna stir it okay she doesn't want to stir it but you need to stir it and then filter it out again about two three times so now we're just gonna put some uh, yellow thing in the powder or whatever it's called it's called manjal in uh, Tamil but yeah you just put that in and uh, stir it so make sure you guys are following the instructions because if you miss one thing out it can go wrong or it can taste a bit weird so you know make sure you know, look, I'm gonna stir it now so yeah make sure you stir it properly as well it has to be anti-clockwise because that's the way it is so yeah now we're gonna put all the seafood in one by one so that's the squid in there so things that are boil fast you just put in so at the moment we've got rice in there beans in there the yellow powder in there and the uh, squid so next uh, we're gonna get the prawns in so let's just wait for that to come and until that comes I'm just gonna be mixing this so that you know it uh, you know boils faster so now we've got the prawns and I'm just gonna mix that so added to the list now is the prawns coming along nicely I believe so yeah let's see how it goes so also guys uh, to add uh, we can put crab in there as well if you want but we're not gonna put crab because um, we can't afford it no, I'm just joking because uh, we don't like it that much so we're not putting crab in there but obviously if you guys love seafood then uh, you can put crab as well or any seafood to be honest but we're just putting the ones that we like so we've got prawns and squid in there and if you really like crab you could have crab in there as well so yeah and now we're gonna add uh, more fish in there so uh, we're just gonna add the whole piece in there and yes there it is that's the main ingredient of the day which is fish so as you guys know the list I've said before now fish has been added to it so you don't really you can um, you know cut it a bit if you want but we're just gonna put in big pieces 
and yeah and then you just need to keep stirring and then keep adding more stuff to it and then we'll see uh, i'll show you guys what we add next and i'll show you guys what the end product look like looks like so guys this is the thing called maravali klanga the brown thing that i showed you so make sure you cut it in little pieces wash it so that you know it's neat and now all you have to do is just put it in like so you can add more or less if you want depending on if you like it or not but personally i like it it comes out really nice when you it's boiled and everything so yeah everything's mixing in um we got a few more products like the spinach and aubergine to add in and yeah um and the seedless tamarind and the uh, audio flower and stuff like that but yeah it's coming along nicely i guess uh, it looks all right um that's all the seafood gone already inside so we just like the vegetables and stuff that we need to add so yeah i'll see you guys in the next shot so now you just have to uh, make sure you guys you cut the aubergines and clean it as well and just add it and mix it as well so that's you know you can see it coming along a lot of stuff in there but obviously once it boils everything will shrink and become small and yeah and now you have to add some salt to it just about um, two teaspoons yeah just two teaspoons two and a half teaspoons because we added a bit more earlier but I forgot to show you guys so yeah two and a half teaspoons of salt and uh, aubergines as well now and yeah just mix it mix it mix it and yeah, we're gonna add some. What else are we gonna add? We're gonna add some garlic later on, but I'll show you guys that. And spinach as well. But I'll show you guys when we add that. So yeah. So yeah, guys, to make sure that it's, you know, boiling and, you know, getting, you know, uh, all the food is really warm, we're just gonna close it for about five minutes and, you know, just let it boil. So, guys, now you have to put some black pepper some cumin seeds and just like a few other spices and just you know crush them to add them so this is what gives the extra flavor the extra little taste so yeah I'm just gonna keep doing oops I'm just gonna keep doing this until you know it all becomes nice and soft ready to add inside the seafood soup <coughs> aka cool So guys, now you just have to add the garlic, chops of garlic, about 7-8 pieces. We're going to add more, but I'm just going to crush these four here and then add a bit more until it becomes like a powder. So just add about 8 garlic in there and keep crushing it until it becomes like a powder. And yeah, just keep doing that guys. Yeah, so just keep checking up on the cool, you know, to make sure it's not disappearing or anything, you know. Just that it's in the dish, and then just keep keep stirring it for like a, a good minute or two, you know, just here and there. Just to make sure, you know, that the fish is still in there, it hasn't run away. It hasn't swam away, actually. And, you know, the prawns as well, that everything's still in there. You know, just, just keep stirring it, guys. And then just leave it for a bit until you know further notice so yeah now we're just gonna add the spinach in uh, so yeah you can put as much as you want but I'll just put like average level you know not that it becomes like a spinach thing you know just a little bit here and there we're gonna add more but this is just a bit of it so just keep stirring it and yeah uh, and then add a little bit more once you know it's a bit it's, it's gone a bit warm boiled keep adding more and that's it I'll show you guys what happens next in the next shot so now as you can see the spinach has gone a bit like it's gone inside it's not as it was we added more as well so it's looking better it's coming along you know very nice it's gonna take about another 15 minutes but obviously I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna wait for 15 minutes on the camera I'm just gonna come back and see uh, in a bit uh, but we're gonna add a bit more stuff now so yeah I'll show you what we add uh, actually we're gonna add it now uh, it's the ordeal flour which I told you guys filter make sure you filter it before you add it so yeah this is how it looks like and make sure you get everything in there so make sure you add water filter it add water again mix it filter it about two three times as I said 
and add it in this is what makes the cool become that color and you know as you can see it's coming in nicely now after adding the ordeal flower it's, it's looking more like cool so yeah just keep stirring and yeah I'll, I'll show you what to add in the next shot so guys this is the tamarind seed this is the tamarind seed which I showed you earlier you just have to add add it like this you use half the thing and put water mix it with water leave it for about 20 minutes and that's how you add it you know just to give that I don't know why it's full actually but just add it guys just so that it tastes like it's supposed to taste and just keep mixing it so now as you can I think it's for the color as well and the taste as well like now it's looking more like cool than it was about two minutes ago so yeah I think uh, it's, it's getting ready very close to ready but yeah see you in the next shot so guys we just added some uh, hot water in there because after you add the oil flour it might, it might become a bit thick the the texture becomes a bit thick so to make sure that it's still like liquidy watery just to add a bit more hot water just to keep that cool texture that soup texture you just have to you know keep adding some hot water not keep adding i mean only after you add you put the oil flour in there so just add some that's only if you need it so if if it doesn't feel thick you don't need to add hot water but it's very likely to become thick after you add the ordeal flour so you just need to add some uh, boiling water i mean hot water in there to keep the texture but yeah for now i'll leave this guys and come back in a bit to see how it's looking so guys this is the pepper garlic and everything that i showed you earlier the common seeds and everything that's been mashed so it's been fully mashed now and all you need to do is just add it in there i was supposed to keep a bit but i put everything in there so now all you do is just mix it up so make sure you keep um, you know smashing that garlic and everything until it becomes this texture obviously uh, we we keep adding these little little things but that's what makes the cool taste nice and look good as well so you know after adding every little thing it, look, it becomes more like spicy and looks more like cool how cool it's supposed to look like so yeah um, I think that's pretty much it that's all you need to add so we're just gonna keep stirring for about five eight minutes and then uh, we're gonna show you guys the end product and we're gonna eat it after that and yeah so yeah just keep watching guys and we'll see what happens so guys this is the final product this is how it looks like uh, it's quite a big pan but yeah that's how the final products look product looks like and now we're just gonna put it in our little dish and have it I'll show you guys how it looks in a little dish because you can't see much detail in here but you know this is every every little thing in there the seafood and everything you can see but I'll show you guys once since it's in a little dish so as you can see we just put it into a smaller dish and as you can see we can see the prawns here and you know everything's melted a little bit but what we're gonna do now is We've gone into a smaller dish, we're just going to put it into this small dish so that, you know, we can peacefully have it. So, yeah, we're just going to put it on there. We're going to put it into two, three different ones because obviously it's not just for one person. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, guys, so that's the end of the video. That's how you make Odeal Cool Seafood Soup and i'm gonna enjoy this and you know just follow the instructions to make it at home and you know make sure you get all the right ingredients and yeah guys thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the video make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also check out my previous videos i do make cooking videos but it's been a long time since i've done that but yeah i leave a link in the description down below for my previous cooking videos and yeah Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.